Good morning, cheetahs. Welcome to the South Greenville Cheetah Spot. This is Mrs. Tedder with your morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, March 15th, 2016. Again, today is Tuesday, March 15th, 2016. Today is our 126th day in school. We've been in school for 126 days. Please stand while we say the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, cheetahs. You may be seated. After you've made it to your seat, we're going to pause for a moment of silence. All right, teachers, now it's time for a uniform check. Boys' shirts need to be tucked in at all times. Shirt colors are white, navy blue, black, gold, or yellow. Pants, shorts, and skirts should be khaki, black, or navy blue. Shoes should be tied at all times. No coats or hoodies are allowed in the building unless you have a uniform-approved sweater or jacket, which has no hoodie and no logo. At this time, we're going to review our South Greenville Elementary expectations for PBIS. Number one, repeat after me. I will be prepared. Number two, I will always be respectful. Number three, I will work hard. And number four, I will be safe. Remember, these are our pause expectations, and you are expected to meet these daily. All right, cheetahs that ride the bus, we now want to introduce you to positive passengers for pizza. This is something new for PBIS. So what happens is pizza will be given to every rider on the bus that can go for one month without a write-up. Write so the whole bus has to go for one month without a write-up. The bus will earn a pizza slice for each week, on the pizza in the hallway until the pizza is complete. We're going to start on Monday, Monday, and as soon as the pizza is complete, that bus will earn pizza. So start making that positive behavior on those buses so your bus can be the positive passengers for the month. The character ed word for the month of March is citizenship. Citizenship is about being an informed, responsible, and caring participant in your community. It means doing your share to make what your school and community can, to make your school and community better. Good citizens cooperate and get involved in community affairs. Citizenship is obeying laws and rules. Responsible citizens do things like volunteering and protecting the environment. Good citizens make good neighbors. Demonstrating good citizenship is being a person who is involved in trying to make the community, nation, or world a better place. Good citizens are people who are engaged in, whether in big or small ways, considering the needs of others in their community. Good citizenship is, in practice is understanding, appreciating, and doing things that make life better for you and for others. Let's see everybody in our school participating in good citizenship. This week for Read Across America, you are welcome to stop by the Media Center and enter the Guess the Book contest. Prizes will be awarded daily. Make sure you stop by each day. All right, it's time for our Cheetah Morning Review. For math for Tuesday, March 15th, for kindergarten, compare a square and a cube. For first grade, Anna said that 7 plus 4 is equal to 3 plus 9 because they both equal 11. Do you agree or disagree with Anna? For second grade, write the number 567 in word form. For third grade, create a number line to represent the fraction 4 sixths. 
For fourth grade, write five tenths as a decimal. For fifth grade, Sally had a gallon of juice that she wants to share with 20 people. How many ounces of juice will each person get? For ELA for Tuesday, March 15th. For kindergarten, what are the next three letters after the letter H? For first grade, true or false, the setting of a story will always stay the same throughout the story. For second grade, what does it mean to research a topic? For third grade, what does the prefix pre mean? Write down the meaning and give a word that it is used in. Fourth grade, what is onomatopoeia? Give an example. For fifth grade, what kind of graphic organizer would I use with a biography? For science for Tuesday, March 15th. For kindergarten, what are the signs of winter? For first grade, how is a reptile different from a mammal? Are there any ways they are the same? For second grade, what part of the ear sends messages to your brain? For third grade, describe one of Newton's three laws of motion. For fourth grade, what adaptation could you use in a forest? For fifth grade, why are most pot handles made of plastic?